So I had an idea last night about could we use the Bivy Loo as a slow cooker. Now if you're grossed out by that, don't bother watching this video. But if you're interested in how you can cook food for long periods of time without using any fuel, then keep watching. This could be a terrible disaster or it could work very well. We don't know, do we? We've got to try these things. We've got to try them. Okay, so here's the cunning plan. We're going to use this as a slow cooker. So let's get the blanket. This is a trial run. Double layer of blanket. The pan's going to be hot. So we put the pan in like that. Release the handle and we sink it down into the bivy. Down in the bivy, that all goes packed around it. Then we take this cushion and push it in as a final cap and drape it over and then pack it down because then gravity is working in your favour. So the meal we're going to test this on is pork chops, green beans and a mushroom sauce and then later on this evening we'll add some rice to it. The slow cooking relies on the heat in the pan and retaining that heat to continue the cooking process. So you have to make sure all your ingredients are piping hot before you put it in the slow cooker. So we've now got a double layer of foil and I've just used a cloth to smooth it down over the sides. We need to use this foil because our lid has a vent hole which would allow all the steam to escape That's over time. So it's absolutely smoother to the side. So that means trapping in the maximum amount of steam. At the moment, there's just a little bit of steam escaping by the handle, but I'll fix that before it goes into the basket. Now, our pan has a handle that can be oh, removed. If we weren't able to do that, then we wouldn't because be able to foil. use this pan in the bivy loo. Yeah, not because of the foil, it just... Oh. Now I was worried the hot pan would burn the woolen blanket but I checked it and it was fine and so we're going to also use there. another blanket around the sides to down. keep some of that heat that might escape through the sides in. Now as we all know heat rises so the more insulation on the top the better. Draped over until it... We'll check it in an hour or two just to see what the temperature is. If it's still really hot, then that's fine. We'll just give it a boost on the thing again and get it back in there. Mm. But if it's starting to cool off, then we'll know it's, it's not, not gonna really going to work. <laughs> Big rocky. That was all right. We wedged the whole thing behind the front seats so that it couldn't possibly move. The Bivy Loo has got a wide base, so it's highly unlikely to tip over. So it's just been two hours, well over two hours now, and I've just taken it out to check the temperature and it's still very hot in there. So I'm quite confident that it's working. But now that I've taken it out, I'm gonna put it back on the ring, give it a boost and then stick it back in there for more cooking. Okay, that's done. It's all been reheated and it's back up there now out of the way continue cooking. Well we've been on the go all day and we're in our final park up. It's time to get our dinner out. Right, let's get this off this pad. Take the lid off. It's warm still I can feel. Right now, it's still hot in here. To lift it out I gathered the blanket together with one hand and then with my hand on the lid I lifted it out okay. and placed it on the floor. Now we're having this with uh, packet rice so I'm going to place that on the top now and let the rice heat through. And we're going to get some heat back into it now. If you use the packets of microwave right, rice, rice, they work really now. well if you just spread it out on top of the food. And then we're going to let this steam through for about 10 minutes. 
and the mushroom. Mm. The beans are certainly cooked. Yeah, have no problem at all cooking them, I'm mm. sure. It's so the pork. It depends that's on the, the pork. Mm. Is the pork soft? Cuts nicely. Mm. I'm going to pronounce that success. The pork is nice and tender. Um, everything else is cooked fine. So we can use the bivy loo as a so slow good. cooker. Mm. A bivy loo is used with a large plastic bag. So they're not dirty things. Once that plastic bag is taken away, they're perfectly clean. And as we've shown, they make a really good container for a slow cooker using blankets and other forms of insulation. If you found this video useful, then give us a like and hit that subscribe button for more tips and tricks and adventures from the Little Red Camper.